Our lesson for today will be looking at chemistry 1502. We'll be looking at SN1 and SN2. This is practice questions. We will be using worksheet number one from the SJ Bakula tutorials worksheet of this particular topic. Let us start. For this particular lesson videos, this is where we'll be looking at the actual questions from the worksheets remember that the worksheets were compiled using the past papers then we will be using uh, randomly choosing questions from the worksheet uh, giving answers and also explaining the answer how we came about um, doing I mean choosing that particular option that we think it is the best for that particular question so let us start like I said you are going to randomly choose any question so from worksheet number one we have question six i don't know if it's visible enough but if you have the copy of the worksheet then you can simply open up um question six the question says which one of the following reaction occurs predominantly via the sn2 mechanism now we have to refer to the basics of this chapter looking at this or watching this lesson video you might have went through the basics of this chapter so we have the first option the first thing that we have to check we have to check the nature of the substrate we have to check the nature of the nucleophile then from there we can quickly conclude remember that examination you won't have enough time to look at other properties if you are 100 percent sure about the two properties then go for your correct answer so we have to look at the substrate and the nucleophile and then looking at the nucleophile for both these options i mean all these options we can see that it favors the sn2 why do we say that because you can see that our nucleophile it's a strong nucleophile and which it is suitable for SN2 then we we can scratch out the nucleophile we're 100% sure that it is um, SN2 since we all all the options have the same nucleophile which is a strong nucleophile then let us go ahead and check the substrate we know that the trend we have the methyl halide which it reacts faster than the primary alkyl halide uh, the second one i mean the next one primary alkyl halide react faster than secondary alkyl halide followed by tertiary alkyl halide and then during the microsoft teams we did agree that it is almost impossible for the sn2 to okay while we have a tertiary alkyl halide but for the sake of the trend we can include it now looking at the first option we can see that this is a methyl halide then we can conclude from this to say option one it is our correct option but we can verify that looking at the other options this one it's a tertiary alkyl halide since you can see it is bonded to three other carbons and then for option three this cannot undergo sn2 as you can see that it has we can say it's a secondary alkyl halide but remember that we're looking for the fastest the one which will be faster than them all or we can say predominantly looking at the last option we can see that it is bonded to three other carbons so this is a tertiary it cannot predominantly occur faster than the other option or option one so it is option one since we are given the solvent and nucleophile we can conclude that this is an sn2 reaction primary alkyl halide they work best but the methyl halide they work more best compared to the primary alkyl halide so for this question we have option one 
let's go to the next one our next question it's option it's question one let us look at the question alkyl halides may undergo nucleophile nucleophilic substitution reaction according to the following pathway so this is a general equation for nucleophilic substitution reaction the question the question says which alkyl halide is the least reactive when reacted with an aqueous alcohol solution via sn1 so before looking at the the question we can say or the option we can say under sn1 we know that since we are asked based on alkyl halide is a substrate we know that tertiary alkyl halide they work best compared to secondary alkyl halide followed by the primary alkyl halide and then lastly we have the methyl halide so let us look at our options the substrate the first option okay we have i here so we can see that it is bonded to the carbon bonded to the iodide is bonded to two other carbons so this is a secondary alkyl halide and then looking at the next one we have one two it's also a secondary alkyl halide and then this one it's a methyl halide it's actually a primary alkyl halide and then we have this one is bonded to two, one two three it's a tissue alkyl halide so our option here it's option number four according to this trend no wait there's a problem the question says which alkyl halide is the least reactive or oh, we are not looking at the predominantly we are looking at the least so the least here is this one the primary alkyl halide since we can see that the primary alkyl halide is the least reactive the second from least so option three is our correct option our next question is question number nine okay let us check which of the following set of carbocat ions represent an order of increasing stability from the least stable to the most stable so we know that the trend of the carbocat ion it's we have tertiary is the most stable we have secondary we have primary so let us look at our options this one it's the first one is from the first option from option number one the first structure or oh, we can see we have inequalities all right this is a secondary carbocat ion and then this is a tertiary carbocat ion then we can conclude to say this is out remember that this is examination preparation so we have to save time if you are 100 percent sure about the certain option that it is not the one that you're looking for then we take it out this is a primary we are at two now it's a primary carbocat ion it's a secondary carbocat ion it's a tertiary carbocat ion so the question is says from the least stable to the most stable so this is definitely the one we can quickly verify that this is a secondary carbocat ion it's a primary carbocat ion so the trend it is not in order we have a tertiary carbocat ion and it cannot be less than a secondary carbocat ion so this is totally out so you can see that option two it is correct and you cannot answer these questions if you haven't went through the basics the lesson videos the basic lesson videos of this particular chapter so question number three it says which of the following compounds will be the best nucleophile to react in an sn2 type reaction you should know that the sn2 
it prefers strong nucleophiles. And normally, strong nucleophiles are the ones that has or bears a negative charge. So without wasting time, we can check, we can firstly check which one has a negative charge. It's option three. That is our answer. Question number four, consider the general reaction. Okay, we can see that our solvent, it's water or nucleophile, it's OH minus. Then we can conclude that this somehow it is SN2 since we have this strong nucleophile. Which example below will take place the fastest? Okay, we have, we are considering looking at the nucleophiles, they are the same, strong nucleophile. So we can see it's SN2 and then we look at the trend now. We know that the methyl halide, they work best compared to the primary, compared to the secondary tissue. So looking at our options, you can see this is a methyl alkyl halide. So without wasting any time, option one will be the correct option. We can go ahead and verify. Verifying this, we can see that this is a secondary alkyl halide since the carbon which is bonded to our chlorine is bonded to two other carbons. So this is secondary, it cannot be. And then looking at this one, this is a primary, cannot be. And then looking at this one, it is bonded to three other carbons, definitely cannot be. So option one, it is the correct option. We have question 10 under worksheet number one. It says consider the following nucleophilic substitution reaction. We can again say this is SN2 since you can see the nucleophile it is a strong nucleophile. Which substrate below will react the fastest in above? Okay, the trend of the substrate, we have the methyl, followed by primary, followed by secondary, lastly by tertiary. So looking at this, we can see that this is a, okay, the carbon that is bonded to our nucleophile, our living group I mean, is bonded to three other carbons is a tertiary cannot be this is a methyl halide this can be option two we can further confirm this you can see this carbon is bonded to two other carbons secondary this one is bonded to two other carbons secondary so it cannot be cannot be option two it is correct we have question two Question 2 says which one of the following reacts or which one of the following reactions does not occur readily via the SN2 mechanism. Okay, we know that looking at the nucleophiles are the same, so we have to focus on the substrate methyl halide, greater than primary, greater than secondary, greater than tertiary. So the first one will definitely occur readily because it's a methyl halide. This cannot be. Remember that we're looking at the opposite now. Question number, option number two. We have this, it's a tertiary alkyl halide. It's a tertiary. So this can be. Looking at this one, this one, it's a secondary alkyl halide. Cannot be. Remember that if we have a tertiary, it means that is our answer. We're looking at the one which will not occur readily, the least reactive. So this one, we have one, two, it's a secondary alkyl halide. So the option here, it's option two. For the sake of avoiding making this lesson video long, we are going to have maybe lesson one or two of this but basically this is how we choose our answers each and every chapter will have this type of a lesson video whereby we look at the actual questions from the worksheets we also have worksheet number two of this particular topic while we are busy with the consolidation sessions we are going to be looking at worksheet number two that's it for this lesson video this is Wahula SJ thank you very much